In this video, you'll be shown how to read a storybook online. Open your browser such as Google Chrome or Firefox or Safari. In this example, we are working in Google Chrome. Type in the website www.africanstorybook.org. Here you will see the home page for African Storybook. On this home page, you will notice new stories, under which there are stories that have been ASB approved and community storybooks. The community storybooks show books that have been uploaded but haven't been checked yet. The ASB storybooks show books that have been quality checked and approved. Let me take you through the few functions of the page that are important. There's read, make and use on the left. On the top right hand side you will see help and notes. If you click this you will see different options such as requesting help if you are stuck on how to do something in particular. The help and notes will assist you in finding your way around the site and reminding you how to use it. Let's have a look at the read function. So the read tab allows you to find stories in many different African languages. You can read them online or download them to read offline or print as a booklet. You are going to look at how to read the storybooks online. If you click the read tab, you will see the screen change to a list of options of different storybooks in different languages. To choose the language in which you want to read the storybooks, click the yellow arrow on the side of the All Languages tab. Scroll down to select your language. In this example, I have selected English. You will then see a list of available stories in that language. To make sure that only the books that have been quality checked are displayed, click the yellow circle by Approved. On the right side of each book, you will notice numbers. These represent the different reading levels. One being very simple and five being the most complicated. Let's have a look at how to read one of these stories. Click anywhere in the box that shows the name and the author of the story that you want to read. The book that you have chosen will open. To turn the page Move your cursor to the right-hand side of the screen. You will notice that it's going to change from a hand to an orange arrow when you go to the very right-hand side of the screen. If you click it, you will move to the next page of the book. You can move back a page if you move your cursor to the very left. If you want to scroll through the book quickly, then you can click in the middle of the book and you will notice a grey bar appear at the top and at the bottom. The slider in the bottom grey bar allows you to move quickly through the book if you click the yellow circle and move backwards and forwards, you can go through the book quickly. To hide the grey bars, go to the middle of the book and click again. If you would like to go back to the original stories, click the middle of the book and then click the left hand arrow on the top left hand of the screen. 